How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and you read the headline of this video correctly. Former Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens says to totally abolish the Second Amendment. Just get rid of it all the way. Now, he is in support, obviously, of the Parkland shooting victims movement, the March for Our Lives. He's in support of that, but he's saying, hey, the best way to get what these kids want is to just totally do away with the Second Amendment. Now, John Paul Stevens is officially a so-called Republican, although he does not have Republicans or those what's a cause of conservatives best interest at heart. He is totally anti-gun. But I do respect him for one thing, which is being a realist. These Parkland kids, David Hogg, Emma Gonzalez, whoever, they say, oh, we're not trying to take your guns. We just want to have common sense gun laws. Well, there are already plenty of common sense gun laws on the books. Matter of fact, one of the performers at the March for Our Lives telethon, uh, television show, whatever you want to call it, Vic Mensa, rapper from Chicago, he was at the thing performing in favor of the rally, although he had been arrested a year prior due to a gun charge. So how are you going to be rapping, performing for more common sense gun laws, but you violate the ones that are on the books? And then there was that uh, Congress hopeful. I forget her name. She was in Virginia Beach. She wanted to take over a spot held by Scott Teller. She was on television sawing uh, AR-15 down to a short barrel rifle, which is illegal, totally 100% a felony if you do not get it clear with the ATF beforehand. So these people talking about common sense gun laws don't even know what the gun laws are. So how are you going to say you're going to pass certain things if you don't even know what's on the books now? And if you don't know what's on the books now, you probably don't know how to get certain things passed. But John Paul Stevens came out and said it is like, look, repeal the Second Amendment prohibit civilians being able to own semi-automatic weapons which is pretty much all weapons because if you have a gun that has a magazine in it that is semi-automatic uh, you know unless you are having a flintlock pistol with the stick in the in the uh, powder and all that kind of stuff or a revolver or a pump action shotgun or a bolt action rifle you have a semi-automatic weapon so the majority of guns that are on the market easier guns for a common citizen to be able to use those would be prohibited then he wants uh, universal background checks all kind of stuff now i don't know why this person specifically is anti-gun although they call themselves a republican i can't really tell but this is what he wants and i think this is what most politicians who talk about so-called common sense gun laws want i think that they're smarter than what we think because I've said many times before that if you're talking about semi-automatic weapons, you're going to talk about all guns in general. So maybe they'll try to start at that point and then they'll say, OK, well, the AR-15, you could at least ban that. Although it's the same thing as a regular rifle with the same type of, you know, uh, detachable mag or whatever. They'll say start there because it looks scary. It looks menacing, whatever, whatever. They'll classify it as a uh, a war machine. Um, uh, assault rifle and then they'll try to impose restrictions on that matter of fact i think there's already been some kind of movement in florida they're talking about raising the age to be able to purchase a weapon john paul stevens is also in favor of that they'll start right there those of us on the right will say rifles of all kind including the ar-15 bolt action whatever rifles of any sort only account for less than two percent of all gun crimes in the united states of america okay so They'll try to use that at first to get a little bit of a leg in. And then they'll say, well, let's ban all semi-automatic weapons or you got to pass a background check to get those. They've already done some things in California, limiting abilities to be able to get certain types of ammunition, limiting the ammunition supply, uh, probably making it more expensive as well because it has more red tape attached to it. All these things are being done right now. And that's what they want to do to take away the Second Amendment at the end of the day. They may not say it. They may try to lie and weasel around it. But at least one thing I can respect John Paul Stevens as a conservative a little bit. He has at least one conservative value. That's at least being honest. Although what he actually wants at the end of the day is going to hurt all of us as Americans. As I close, I want to say this. You have the First Amendment. That's the freedom of speech, right? Then you have the Second Amendment. That's the right to bear arms. These amendments complement one another. 
Okay, you need to be able to protect yourself away from a government that would try to silence what you're saying. Okay, you also need to be able to speak out against the government if they're trying to take away your guns and they're trying to disarm you. In every nation that I can recall in recent history, when gun control was a thing, that's when you had mass genocide happen or democide, whatever you want to call it. It happened in Russia with the Bolsheviks. It happened in Germany with the Nazis. It happened in a lot of different places. We can see the same pattern happen over and over again. Many Americans are kind of naive and think that it won't happen to us, but it most certainly can happen. History is almost certain to repeat itself. There's not many ideas that's new up under the sun. Technology may advance. The way we communicate may be able to advance. But at the end of the day, human beings have been the same in my humble opinion, since the beginning, we all have certain wants. We all have certain needs. We all have certain desires. We all have certain fears, certain things that we're not scared of. I can go on. At the end of the day, regardless of what technological advances have happened, we're all still human. And a lot of these things that are going on right now are very much predictable, which is why history is often doomed to repeat itself. So what do you think? Do you think that John Paul Stevens represents what the left and all the other gun control freaks really want, which is to totally just get rid of the Second Amendment altogether? Just say right to bear arms. You don't have it. Is that what is going on? Do you think it has the right idea? Ban the Second Amendment, get rid of all the guns. I mean, <laughs> how are you really going to do that? Wave a magic wand and just say, OK, no more guns. All the guns in society are gone. Is that what we're going to do? Are we going to become like Mexico, who has very tough gun laws? You can't own a gun if you're a regular, normal civilian. Yet the crime rate is super high. People are getting killed left and right, getting placed in barrels of acid. When I was in El Paso, Texas, you have what is right there, right across the border. It's basically one city divided by a country line. And El Paso was nice and safe. You can go out at night by yourself. You have no fear of any kind of bad things happening. Go across that border and the water is pure violence, pure mayhem. Yet Mexico has stronger gun laws than the U.S., especially Texas. So what's really going on? You tell me and whatever other comments you have, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.